My name is Trisha Lockwood. I reside in Violet, New Jersey, and I'm actually going to uh, record um, this um, <laughs> dialogue, if you will, um, which happened in, well, 2013. Strangely, there is an argument posted in here that is not of the original argument. Is It, it is inserted. Um... The thing is, is that my words are in here, not, uh, how do I say this? It seems like a mix is actually false, apparently a false prophecy. I just looked it up yesterday to see what it is, um, and this was not published until 2017. Yes, it is in my 2013 post. So, there's a word in here that I basically spoke, um way before this, uh, to a, uh, so-called William Clay, I'm, I'm sorry, so, his name is William Clay, so-called Pastor William Clay, um, who, my cat's doing something, um, anyway, um, so, there's a thing in here, my own words, um, speaking against all of, all of these people worshipping themselves, okay? It was not too long ago echoed by a false pastor, William Clay, who, uh, again, no, I don't know if he echoed it before, I'm sorry, um, uh, just going to clarify that, um, but I basically spoke it, I think, in a video, and online, I gotta look that up um, under those keywords also, because um, I know I've said it before, um, where um, I said you worship yourselves as your as your own gods, um, and it's true. Um, the thing is, so yeah, I'm speaking against all of these people. The thing is, I've said that way before this, and I need to look it up. I actually. Look this up because of a false minister who's actually copying my work. I had two people, well, there's more than two people, but two main people who've been persecuting me. Well, there's another party of the fraudulent Pentecostal cult who's been committing hate crimes against me um, and persecuting me. And they um, are copying my words. And Frank Apollo and William Clay. It's really strange. Um, they're copying... Oh, I don't even know how to explain this. Uh, I have these people copying my words. Now, they did it for years. Stealing my work. Um, Frank Apolito, just on a weekly basis for over 10 years. Uh, a fraudulent false minister persecuting me. Um, basically um, slandering me. Um, making gaslighting uh, statements that are mentally abusive. Uh, basically um, abusing me for being a victim of domestic violence. Um, and blaming me. This actually happened first in a in an abusive cult in the Violent First Church of Nazarene. Now calling themselves Violent Nazarene Reign of Church. Yeah, to actually put this in order is very hard. Um, so, the thing is, is when I was there, attending there, um, the uh, false pastor, uh, William Clay, was actually echoing my words. Sometimes, throughout the years observing him, it seems like he's echoing my words that he is being told. Um, some of the things. He's also echoing slander against me. Um, in those words, acting like he basically has his special discernment or anything or something that he said before. And like I tell people, I try to humbly like mellow it out and, and teach people that discerning is built and we're all in different places. Um, and people are to grow in discernment. Um, there's these arrogant people who basically believe that, you know, they have this special gift of discernment and it, which actually exposes them. They're not speaking by the Holy Spirit, nor rightly interpreting Paul's, uh, writings. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, they all, Frank Apollo, the fraudulent Pentecostals, they've all misinterpreted it. The whole point of Paul was basically exposing them that they are false. So, the thing is, is that um, there is this... I just want to get my pen. I had a pen in here, out here. I don't know if I'm going to use that or can. I don't know where the, that pen is. Um, 
Oh, there it is. I just want to get something to point um, to this because, first of all, apparently this is a supposed prophecy. And it is copying biblical prophecy, mixing it with blind ignorance, um, uh, with Mohammedan principles, um, denying knowledge. It, it, even there's a statement that says, uh, falsely, there is no knowledge apart from me. And there can be no understanding save it was given... Uh, to you by Mashiach, he is your master. This is a false prophecy. First of all, a prophet's not going to sit there and call Jesus their master. It's not going to happen. Um, so the thing is, there is my words in here. Um, this, this person is an echo. And not only that, they, like, um, a, like a Mohammedan, falsely misinterpret Christian. They don't know what a Christian is, but... They are claiming to, um, let me just go, um, okay, well, there is, like, you know, knowledge of mankind, and there's false knowledge, um, I can't get in that teaching right now. Okay, I'm going to emphasize on it so, so you can identify something. Um, uh, you know, it's kind of like, um, how do I say this? Well, there's false knowledge, which isn't really knowledge, it's, you know, it's, but it's false knowledge. Um, then there's like dead knowledge that is not productive, but it, it's, um, how do I say this? Like, I can have a knowledge of something that happened, but it doesn't give me life. Like, I can have knowledge that somebody robbed somebody. You know, and that robbing somebody is is wrong. It is productive to know that and to basically know that it's wrong and teach that it's wrong, you know, by the knowledge of God. Um, but, okay, so this person, this is a thing. I, I actually just got kicked out of this group that was overrun by fraudulent Pentecostals. They consider themselves a, mess, a messianic uh, group. And what they're doing is trying to pluck out people who are Jewish. Um, they actually made a Bible to try to appeal to some, like, you know, um, I'm not going to say Hebrew speaking, but Jews or whatever. And some um, words that would be related to you know, uh, Hebrew language and things like that, um, um, and where they basically just use the original translation, I think it's called, there's an evil false forge version, false version of the Bible that is completely perverted, like many of these false forge Bibles, um, and it's called, I think it's the, the Tree of Life or something, and all they do is they basically use, like, um, um, the Hebrew language, um, and it's grossly perverted. It's just like a fraudulent Pentecostal garbage book where they try to rewrite the Bible and do all these things. And they're trying to take over Israel, by the way. So that's actually something I noticed that was happening in my town a number of years ago. So they have a lot of blasphemous false uh, prophecies. Um, <clears throat> so, and it says, listen to this. I'm going to record this. I'm going to record the section for a second. Okay. All right, see? For the scholars cry false, and the Christians plot in vain against my messengers. And the people of Israel walk proudly, exalt themselves by their own knowledge, through their, though they remain ignorant, for the truth is still hidden from their eyes. This is, this was in like um, a group of like me, a so-called claimed messianic, they're not. Um, they're adapting the false ideas of Christianity. I just want to let you know, you cannot be Christian. Um, it's really strange to actually have this in this argument. You cannot be, uh, Christian and plot in vain and practice evil. So, obviously this is false, okay? <clears throat> it's like, excuse me, it's like Muhammad, who did not know what a Christian was and spoke against Christians, why he was distracted by false Christianity and speaking it uh, against a group of people, which were the, the Roman so-called Catholics, um, um, falsely called themselves Christian, um, 
and he was speaking against these Roman Catholic so-called false Christians, um, and claim that Christians believe this. Well, if you believe that, you can't be Christian, okay? So the thing is, I do teach that. Now, the thing is, I looked this up <clears throat> because I actually looked under the, um, the, um, title, uh, uh, under the search of 613 commandments because I've spoken against it before. Frank Apollo, my persecutor, is bringing up like that again and trying to bring this exhaustion over, like, trying to seem like it's this exhausted thing about 613 commandments. Now, when I argued it before, um, I'm just like, that's so ridiculous. There's, like, tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of laws, uh, on the, uh, law books or whatever. Um, uh, I know for a fact, like, even just, like, uh, dietary laws, um of a state, if you will, or city, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have, like, thousands and thousands of laws. So, the thing is, my, there, I actually argued this before when it was tried to, it was attempted to be used by a false minister, Russ Derger. Um, he basically tried to make the laws, like, this exhausting thing, begin against the law, uh, laws of God. Um, and he made this demonstration about, um, I think, I think being in Israel, I, I can't be clear on that. Um, it would only be related by principle where, you know, it, from the, um, he, his statement was, um, that it was, it's exhausting to work, walk from like the, um, the dairy cheese and the meat section because they don't put them together. I'm just like. Has this guy ever been to a grocery store? It's the same thing. Same thing in our grocery store. <laughs> it's like seriously, <laughs> and I'm just like, I, and I told him how ridiculous it is. And of course, I mean, yeah, I experienced that like years ago, and it was just like I stopped eating cheeseburgers. Just want you know that, because I'm just like, okay. So uh, what what does it contain to like you know like in their mother's milk? Because the law is, do not um. Boil meat in their mother's milk, which I actually hold sacred and understand. Now, like I knew of it, I didn't really connect it to me eating a cheeseburger before. But then I read like some Jewish writings in regards to not mixing like cheese with meat and things like that or whatever. I was like, okay, I'm going to try that. It was very difficult. <laughs> it was like, there, so he's like, what? And then, okay, I gave that up. <laughs> it's like, I'm not really, like, you know, I'm not breaking a law of, you know, um, with that, with the milk of the cheese. But I, 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 would, I wanted to experience it. I really did. And I, when I try something, I experience it as I want to adapt that and experience it. You know, um, I have no problem um, yeah, experiencing other people's cultures and the way they do things from their thought. Um, I think it's quite interesting. So, um, it all depends. I mean, I'm not going to go some places, you know, but I'll try some things, you know. And, um, so anyway, I can't get too long on that. So the thing is, is that they were twisting the law, basically. Um, and it was just like, they were making things ridiculous. And my whole argument was, I made a statement about a cheeseburger or whatever. I don't know what it is. Um. I can't remember exactly what it was, but the thing is, is that, um, he was like perverting the law and then making it out to be something that it wasn't. Okay. And, um, it's just like, look, my answer was, look, if they had some of the laws to respect human life and animals, they would not have like torturous animals, like chickens in cages and why they're just like caged up, um, and there's, like, a lot of diseases and illnesses and all this other stuff or whatever. People respected the animals that were going to eat. Uh, you know, there wouldn't be... I mean, it would... I mean, they hold animals more sacred than anything. I think it's a very beautiful thing. Um, in which they um, um, hold animals sacred that we're going to eat. Okay? And the thing is, they were perverting sacrifice, by the way, also. I've seen a lot of it online, especially from the those of the Calvary Chapel. It was just like... It's so confusing. I did do a video on that. Um, there's a, several videos I did actually. Do not have them, um, unfortunately. But the thing is, it's like you're confused about sacrifice. First of all, sacrifice. A lot of people, like especially like among the atheists or whatever, they would sit there. Oh, your 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 Bible has like animal sacrifice. 
I'm like, do you pick your meat off of trees or something? <laughs> so, um, the thing is, it's like they ate them. They sacrificed the animal to eat. They just held it more sacred. And I had to explain this a number of times throughout the years, um, what it is. And, um, so they were perverting the law. So there was laws that basically was basically, 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 for basically purpose of the mind. Like, I understand it. It wasn't just some, they didn't just do things in vain. There was a purpose. Um, and it was to put, uh, it was, okay, look, I'm going to get into all these teachings, okay? But it's about the laws of the mind and how they think. And, like, to keep things separate and all these things or whatever. There was actually a purpose for it. Um... It's quite amazing. Um, you're not... Well, unless somebody copied my my stuff from before, you're not going to find these writings online. Um, these are personal, uh, uh, spiritual, um, discerning, original commentary. Um, but it's amazing. Um, the whole purpose of it. If you see the law for its purpose. Now, if you just do things like like ceremonially without purpose and without the meaning the spirit of the meaning which i actually am making a, a meme on the whole point of that it's kind of like um let me see if i can bring it up it's let's see i'm gonna get into all kinds of stuff oh i just lost it are you serious don't tell me that all right i still have part of it hold on let me get open another another window um okay I can record what... Because the thing is, I post things, and then I hold them there, um, and then, um, and then I make a meme out of it, is what I do. And this is there, keep it, so if I have, like, post and lock, um, nobody can see, it's, it's not that I have a problem with people seeing it. Um, the people in hack to my computer, by the way, they question that. That would be Frank Apollo, or somebody who's connecting to them, or whatever, but the purpose is, I hold it there, sometimes I don't get back to it, because I get into a lot of work, but, um... I try to get through some main things, but I put it on lock, um, because, um, I'm just holding it there. Like I organize it, I set it up and then I screen print it and then I make a meme out of it is what I do. I'll show you what I do. <laughs> so, um, this is one I'm working on. I just lost it because I actually had it shut off my, um, computer but this is i actually love this because um it's powerful and it was actually um something from it was just abused and twisted and i love this because um like i said i'm like people somebody my persecutor william clay frank Apollos, um yeah well way ma mainly william clay from the violent nazarene raymond church they try to mock me because I'm just like, Christ is all through the scriptures. All his teachings are in the scriptures. And that's not something I got from somebody else. That's what I see. Um, they, like, they'll quote things like, um, I was there from the beginning or, um, uh, um, just little verses they don't see, they don't understand. And they, and they twist scripture and, and all, all the doctrines of all these churches are completely against these things. But what I see in the scriptures, um, when I broke down on Red Day, it was like so amazing. And one of the teachings I used to teach when people sit there and like condemn the Old Testament, they don't even know what's in it. Of course, I have somebody manipulating my words, uh, quoting my words and manipulating them back to me. Um, and because I proved to them that, well, our Bible does not teach Jesus God as they're twisting it and they're all these false doctrines and they're sitting there and I'm, it's like, I, I, I'm, I'm sitting there teaching them and making it clear. Uh, you don't understand what's in our scriptures. Oh, you don't understand what's in our scriptures because I just corrected their false doctrines. Seriously? Um, they don't even know what's in the Bible. I broke it down. Uh, now, the thing is, it's an interesting thing because Frank Apollo reads through all the scriptures and he still doesn't understand it. So he did several books several times. And he copies my words. He's even sat there and said, because I was like, well, you have to read it as a whole. You're, you're twisting scripture. Um, and he goes behind his pulpit. Oh, you got to read it as a whole. This is what they're doing. Um, trying to, like, be me, play me, it's disturbing. Um, they're echoing me like a parrot, um, and then they're playing and pretending, uh, they're speaking against that, like, William Clay is sitting there. 
I don't know who he was, what he was talking about, because it seemed like he was, like, referring to, uh, Frank Apazzo, where he's, like, he makes a statement, like, from his pulpit, or stage, I'm sorry, <laughs> stage, uh, get your own life or whatever, copying somebody else's life, because I spoke against them copying my life. And there's another people, a number of people do that. My abuser, uh, I have to reside with, does that. And I've spoken against him many times for doing that. It, it's an abusive, um, tactic. It, it's really disturbing. It comes from, like, jealousy. Um, I basically identified that among Catholic doctrine. Where they mirror their victims, like, destroy their victims. It's the same exact thing. It's really disturbing. So, I was going to record this real quick. <laughs> Again. I don't know if I have that lined up there. Oh. So this is the thing. There's all of Christ's teachings. Christ is teaching everything that is in the Torah, everything that is in the law. What they're doing is teaching, well, I would say they're like uh, Jesus and then using the Christ in Paul um, to actually interpret the spirit of the law that's there. Okay, and th these, my persecutors are going around like, oh, well, there was no love or forgiveness or grace. They just made it up. They ma they basically really said there's no love or forgiveness or whatever in, the, in Mo the law of Moses. That's not true. They try to pervert and they twist. They don't understand when it says uh, through Mo Moses came the law through uh, Christ uh, grace. And they don't understand that um, concept whatsoever. They just do that to avoid what is in uh, recorded in um um uh what is known as the old testament um and the spirit of what it says and yes it is the spirit that, that like i taught for years is, is this i just actually just taught that to somebody else another minister um to make them understand that look it's about experiences you need to know the people okay around you quoting bible can i help you Unless you learn and, and know and understand people. Your neighbors, your city, your nation. Okay, you need to know people. You sit there and say, teach me the scriptures. Uh, you'll know what's in the scriptures. You learn to understand your neighbor. So, um, I actually said a similar statement uh, to Frank Apollo when I actually attended his church or whatever because he was blindly teaching scripture and just reading scripture and could not see anything that was in it. So, I use a, another story that was very similar to his and experiences that I've encountered um, with other churches. And, um, and I told him, I was like, look, a pastor, a true pastor, understands the needs of the people. If the pastors don't understand the needs of the people, they cannot teach scripture. So, and you don't have to also teach that you do not have to be um, a scripture interpreter or a scripture teacher to actually be a pastor. Um, uh, an awareness that I basically awaken to people because it, people don't understand what a pastor is. You, you don't even have to have ever read the Bible to be a pastor. That's the truth. Yeah, I am the only one who taught that. So, I mean, I said it so many times, a number of times after that. So, I don't know if other people understood that and, and that circulated or whatever. But, um, no, you, you actually don't. <laughs> so, um, but if you're going to interpret the scripture, yes, you do not have to understand what's in the scripture. And you're not going to unless you're by the spirit of God and actually love the true God, not just because you claim to believe in God. And actually love your neighbor, not just quote it in scripture. Okay, to love your neighbor. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll teach what's in scripture. Yeah, of course I teach the scriptures. And I teach it against the Bible abuse. But, um, uh, alright, I'm going to go on. So, the thing is, is there was this recording is amazing because there's, um, a teachings, well, of Christ, of Christ, of Christ. This is the teaching of Christ. This is a Christ in prophets. Okay? So, um, a recording of the prophets are recording uh, the same spirit that was in Jesus Christ. So, isn't Jesus Christ? Um, the thing is, is that um, I should open it up. I want to get into. I want to get into teachings. Like I want to teach this. I was working on a, on a on a thing on this, and um, 
I got um, sidetracked. But this is um, same as a uh, commonly uh, misinterpreted, but commonly used of Paul's uh, um, um, teachings recorded in First Corinthians uh, thirteen. Um, so, and it is abused. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, and because I basically um, have all this uh, evidence of the Holy Spirit, of the love of God in me, which they claim me speaking against your evil isn't love because they are liars and not of love. But the thing is, is that they actually try to use this or whatever. You can know all mysteries and have all these things, but if you don't have love, and I said, first of all, it's charity, and I'm giving it to you uh, in love. And the thing is, everything that is of God is, well, love. So, um, they basically, it, it's a manipulation tactic how that, how the wicked pervert our Bible. Um, so, and they'll all often teach it, um, and say, oh yeah, well, it's usually, um, you know, taught at weddings and things like that or whatever. And, um, I, I they misuse the scripture. It is, they, <laughs> so... Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, so this is the same thing. If you have not love, uh, it is nothing. So, it's the same thing as in this teaching. Uh, I'm trying to open up my window again. Where, um, I'm going to have to do another teaching on it because it won't take up too much time. And I didn't want to make this video about that. Um, but... Jesus' teachings are in here, um, and this is about fasting. I think it's the most powerful thing to understand fasting. Uh, it's the same reflection and teaching I use by the Spirit of the same um, word um, as um, um, sacrifice. Okay, and where Jesus teaches, um, it, basically, it's not about the sacrifice. Okay, it, it is about the the um, <laughs> trying. I, you know what? I just had somebody else's words like coming to my head, <laughs> my thoughts. I don't want to say it. So, um, it's not about the sacrifice. Okay, it's about the mercy and compassion and love towards others. This is the exact same principle. The word is the same. Okay, it's not about the fasting. See, they fasted in vain, and this is the point. And no, don't try to sit there and go, oh, it's against, the, God's against the bait. No, 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 no. Um, they fasted for arrogant reasons to exploit their works um, and to have an advantage and to, uh, basically the same principles um, to basically, um, uh, it's, I, have to, I have to do a teaching because I'm not going to have enough time. I just want to go into this teaching, like, really bad. <laughs> I shouldn't say really bad. That's actually probably a poor uh, uh, term in language. But, um, um, yeah, so it's not about the sacrifice. The thing is, it doesn't eliminate sacrifice. And it's like the G Jesus teachings. It is when he said, you forget the weightier matters of the law. Justice, faith, and, uh, and mercy. So, um... I think as they pervert what faith is, that it is exhausting how these people, how these pagan churches pervert our Bible. But um, yeah, they I, these these pastors basically made up lies that you know oh oh uh, you know they try to put the law against love, and it's just like no, there's love written throughout the law, but the uh, recorded in the law. But the reality is, love has to come from within you by spirit. Okay, to identify a love in scripture, and they can't. Okay, their 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 love is tainted and perverse. They because they have a love for the things of the world. So, um, this also reflects. It's amazing because it reflects. It's of course it's one word, so it reflects like all the same in Jesus' teachings. Um, in, in regards to um. Um, prayer, like, do not be like the hypocrites. Same reflected in the same spirit, um, that is written in this passage in Isaiah 58. Um, so, yeah, I was mocked and bullied, uh, in the Von Nazarene Rhema Church and mocked. And I'm just like, Christ Jesus is throughout all the scriptures. Like, everything that he taught is in there. And they're, and they're trying to challenge it. And they're doing all these things. And they're making up all these lies. And 
it's like Jesus is teaching the law and the spirit of the law. Because at the time, they did not understand the law. They were blinded by their own, like, arrogant self-power and all these things like they are. Um, so, it's amazing, like, uh, what is in here. Um, um... Oh, I to, okay, I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to cut this off. Look, <laughs> I got past. I'm gonna record this because <clears throat> I have this person, and this this these arguments actually lasted for weeks. I'm gonna go back to this. Um, I looked up the hundred, yeah, the hundred, the six hundred and thirteen commandments. Um, let me just go into find here. Oops. Um. Uh, now I'm just going to, uh, I don't know what to do. Um, 613. I have two different things opened. So I'm trying to, uh, sort this out. So, okay, let me go back. Let me sum this up real quick because this is long. Um, because I, I got to record this and I'm going to actually do another video about it. So I've been saying the same thing. Well, for many years, well, uh, well, actually, I have um, additional statements verbally. Uh, my thoughts were pretty much the same. Um, the thing is, is that I, I, it would have been nice if I had the beginnings of this conversation and how, what, how the post started. I don't really recall it. I don't know how to look it up to find it. But I copied this. And like I said, there is... Um, Okay, I, I found this looking up Frank Apollo's claim about the 613 Commandments. Okay. I'm going back. Um, so, he's trying to promote it again. And the thing is, I already corrected them on the 613 commandments. And this is how I did it. Um, the thing is, is like, I basically heard it first in the Violent First Church of Nazarene, now calling themselves Ramoth uh, Nazarene Church. It was not talked about. It was just mentioned. It was just like, the, the false teachers just boasted in things. Trying to uh, present themselves as, oh, the 613 commandments. And it's just like... I didn't have any answer to that. I didn't have any knowledge about that. Yeah, I knew about the laws in the Bible. I don't know how many there were, claimed there were, or whatever the case may be. And then I ventured to visit this other church. It was Episcopal Church. And yes, I was against their teachings as well. And I, I it was more like a card. <clears throat> and I asked about it. It was like one of those things where they have these, um, like where they put the bulletins and things like that. It was like this wooden thing on the wall and it had little booklets and stuff or whatever. And I took this out and I had this uh, saying about 613 commandments. It didn't have the 13 commandments in it. It just had like this saying about 30, 613 commandments. So I had to go study it. I asked somebody about it. They, you know, um, they, I don't remember exactly the words, but it, they didn't really say much about it. So I had to go research it and find out what it was. So that's what I did. Um, and the thing is, is that, um, I've talked about it before. I've been trying to find out that information. I do mention it in here. Um, Maimonides, who, uh, he was, he's considered respectively as a so-called theologian. Um, he's bogus. He's a scam artist. Um, apparently, I can't find it online, but when I studied it in the library, apparently there was this claim, I guess this belief, that there were 613, like, body, I don't know if it was bones or body parts, okay? And it's not true, but that was the belief of some I'm not saying it was like, obviously it's not confirmed science. It's not science at all. But that was a belief of some sect or whatever um, of the time. And so they made up all these things and picked out all the uh, like 613 uh, commandments um, in the Bible and claiming this is proof or whatever. And it was, um, um, how do I say this? They claim it was matched up with, like, the number of body parts or a number of, like, bones in the body uh, with these uh, 613 commandments and this validates it or whatever. The thing is, they left out a lot of laws. <laughs> the thing is, they inserted some laws that were not... It's like a personal command, like a time command. Um, and... While they left out others, um, there's a whole lot more than this many commandments. A whole lot more. Um, so they left out, obviously, um, the, um, how do I say, the laws um, in regards to, um, uh, how do I say this, um, um, unnatural 
adulterous, like, sexual relations or whatever, um, would be, like, SSA, okay? Um, basically, uh, um, people sleeping with the same sex and all this other stuff, that's an abomination. Um, so that's left out. The thing is, when I was observing, what I did is I read through the laws, okay? I researched in the library. Oh, this is about, whew, uh, 15 years ago. Now, it had been right after, it was right after I was, so it was 15, what is it, 22? Yeah, about, uh, I would have to say 14. Years ago. I'll say 14 as an estimate. Okay? I know I'll usually ran it off to the fives and all this or whatever. But let me just record this. <laughs> all right? So let me go back down to the other one. Um, This is the argument I'm in with somebody. Uh, Scroll down. Let me just record this also. See, uh, this is, let me go to. Okay. So this is my other argument. Just like, don't say, uh, this is me. So, don't say, uh, many of the Christian churches because they're not Christian. You only can be Christian by being true of the true Christian faith. And, uh, none of them are Christian. So, yeah, no, this is not new that I'm just saying this. I've been teaching it and exposing it for many years. Um, no, I did not teach that when I was in the, um, Vaughn and Nazarene Rima Church. I didn't have knowledge that none of these churches are, um not Christian. Okay. I had no knowledge about if they were, or I did not have the view then. Okay. I didn't have these things that were, uh, 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 that I see. I didn't see it then. Uh, what I see now, uh, that was revealed to me. So, um, I'm going to go on. <clears throat> I said, for example, you promote false doctrines of the heretic uh, Maimonide, who made up the, uh, his own false ways of 613 commandments, which this is done by a false philosophy. I should have put it in quotes. I had a problem with that um, at that time. My early writings, like I said, this is, um, let me record the date here. I should just go through this because I'm going to go, you know what? I'm going to go through this. Um, okay. 2013. Okay, I'm just going to record this. Let me make sure I get all this on here. Okay. Uh, go up. I'm going to set on my camera down. Alright, I'm going to record this real quick before I end. Okay, so, okay, so I just want to know, look, I want you to, uh, before I end this, I'm going to show this real quick. So I had to look that up, and I never seen that before. I was never familiar with that, and apparently it is a mix, somebody combined the false um, YHWH with Yeshua, and called it Yahua or something. They just combine these two words is what they did. It's made up just like YHWH. Uh, let me just put that on um, uh, on here. Um, my photos. I made this not too long. I've talked about it before. Um, because, yeah, I got confused at first. And I wanted to secure it. And I had, to, I had to do a whole research on it. Because I was told um, by somebody that... Um, Jehovah meant like relation. Um, how do I say this? Um, which does that mean? God, like, ha, like God, I guess they do like God is my banner. God is, um, 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 how do I say this? Uh, peace and things like that or whatever, which I didn't question much at first. And I was just like, I'm going to look that up. I never, strangely, I never heard of the word Jehovah before. 
<laughs> so, um, oh, no, 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 I am wrong. I did hear of it once. It, it was like, I remember somebody saying, um, their, like, their Jehovah, and it was like a girl in my class when I was in elementary school. But that was it. That was, you know, or whatever. But I never heard, like, about, like, Jehovah Witness. Like, I didn't know what a Jehovah Witness was. So, um, the thing is, is that, um, I did a lot of research. And, um, it's actually much more research than this. And I actually had to, to, uh, because I'm not going to just, I'm not happy with just, like, reading articles. Like, oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> So I actually went into like I had to break down like different things about I mean I had to go into uh encyclopedia of the uh Jewish encyclopedia and then research from that because you know when you're doing encyclopedias you don't just take that information you have to use that as a reference guide only and then you have to go further um into research and the thing is I basically combined other researchers that weren't connected to it that's how I found out about the W and things like that um so it was different things that I had to put together. Um, so I couldn't ever give you, I don't, I don't really think, <laughs> huh. I don't know if they have something like this online, but my research consisted of many different works and puzzling it together. Um, and to find out the roots of this. So the thing is, is this is a summary of like, I don't know. It could have been like months to a year's worth of research. So it's different information. It's just, uh, parts of a whole other information I can't fit on here. So, I'm going to go on. So, this is something... So, I'm actually going to actually make a meme about that because I'm actually really disturbed by it. But the thing is, yes, all these words are all made up. That Yahweh... Now, the thing is, Yah itself does mean God. This is like Yah, Yah. Okay, it, it does mean God, but God is an ambiguous term, and it could be God for anything, um, an idol, a pagan uh, God, um, all these things. People are called gods in the Bible. So, the thing is, is that when it comes to to everything else, these are all made up words. And people try to sit there, oh no, it's in the Bible, whatever. That is a forced translation and added because it's not in the Bible. Um... No, it's not. The, the people are sitting there claiming it could it could it be um a so called Jewish person who um deceived these people and told them that yeah yeah uh, they've been knowing to do that um so no it's not of God to deceive a foreigner or somebody who doesn't understand that all th that's forbidden in our in the scriptures the the Jewish uh of the Jewish uh or Israelite religion if you will okay. So, uh, to deceive and do all those things, it's a completely against God. But this person, I looked this up, and apparently, yeah, uh, Yahuwah, okay, which is a combination of Jesus and God, um, it apparently is, um, rooted in the Seventh Day of Venice, which is what? That comes from the same as the, the, the Yahweh, the WH, YHWH, and things like that or whatever. And this is another emerging of it. So Seventh-day Adventists were people who broke off of the so-called Jehovah Witnesses. And they do claim that God is three persons. Um, the Catholic false doctrines. So, um, excuse me. Uh, looks on my lip or mouth or something. So the thing is, is, yeah, I did have that, um, launch before. And I was just like, oh my gosh, here's another one. Um, it's made up. Um, so the thing is, is that, um... Mm -hmm. I'm going to end this with that. This is 43 minutes. But um, the things that are in here, uh, these are my words. And I have to buy this book, unfortunately. Um, and no, I didn't get it from here. And the thing is, I have been saying, uh, you worship yourselves. You worship yourself as gods. No, I did not get it from here. This was put here later on my words because this book is published in 2017. And I never heard that before, and it was not on here. And I do have, yes, I had people hacked on my computer. It was not in there. This post is 2013. 
This book was published 2017. So, and like I said, I just looked this up. Um, I'm going to end with that. It's 44 minutes. And um, I'm going to do um, more on this. <clears throat> <laughs> See, in the beginning here, it says, don't get cut off and get caught off in the same thing as Muhammad did, where he falsely accused Christians of being what the Catholic Church practices. You notice, this is the beginning of my writings. And when you go to this added material that is, and I, yes, I have said that hundreds and hundreds of times. Um, because I, I teach that. I'm like, you don't understand. Muhammad is exposed because he did not know the difference between a Catholic and a Christian. So that's the exact same thing that I exposed in this elated added, um, thing. Somebody trying to set me up for something, but oops, uh, they messed up because this post is 2013 and this book that was asserted later is 2017. It starts here, right? And given you by Mashiach? No. He is your man. This is all distorted. They are taking prophecy, um, other people's words, and distortion, and does, do not understand what a Christian is. Um, Christians can only be of Christ, other teachings of Christ, not opposed to it. They're not going to know. Um, and they're doing the same thing Muhammad is. Oh, you Christians did this. Uh, no, we didn't. <laughs> I had that same argument like hundreds and hundreds of times with Muslims online all the time. Uh, you Christians believe this. Uh, you can't believe that if you, if you're a Christian, because Christian means of Christ. No. So, um, yeah, this is actually more proof that my video is hacked into. Um, so I'm going to end with that and I'm going to do another part.